Good evening once again. Um, back with PGA Tour 2K23. Hopefully you watched my first video on it, um, which I um, helped showcase a friend of mine's course um, that he published called Arenas of Sparta. Recommend you give it a watch. It's a really good course. And I actually got my first hole-in-one on um, 2K23 as I was recording, which was uh, very good timing. Um Today I thought we'd just jump in and look at career mode. So I'm already um, in the middle of a career mode in the first season. Um, so I thought we'd just jump in. Um, got another rival. I've already been through the rivals once. I think this is my second time through. Um, obviously you get like rewards and I think if you've already got the rewards you can't get them again but you get money and XP I think. Um, I think that's how it works. I haven't got any fittings on my clubs at all. I haven't done that yet. I have combined some to upgrade them, so you can I might have a look at it another time on another video. But you do unlock fittings that you can attach to your clubs, which can improve them. Um, but there's different gradings, and you can actually combine some of the lower gradings to get a bet like one in the next tier. I think it's three to one ratio, so you can get three of like the worst ones, and that gets you to the next tier. Um, then you can use three of those tiers to get up to the next. I'll showcase it another time. Um, I've already played a couple of rounds today, but I haven't been playing that great. Um, mainly my putting has been pretty bad. I don't know why. Um, so we'll see what I'm like in this course. I don't think I've played this course before. Um, this is a par four. Very simple dog leg right. And if you didn't see my first video, um, I'm actually using the three click system, which I'm really enjoying. And it's, as far, as far as I'm aware, it's the first time it's been in the PGA Tour games. And um, yeah, I really like it. It's probably not for everyone, um, but I'm playing on PC and I thought I'd give it a go and I'm gonna stick with it, so. Yeah, so we've got a nice 100-yard uh, approach, so just a little pitch. Um, it's about, probably needs a yard extra, but it's going to have a little bit of run, so I'll probably aim a couple of yards left because of the wind and the lie as well. Put a tiny bit of loft and spin on it. I've noticed I've been, the meter's been a little bit juddery today, and it wasn't yesterday, so I don't know if it's the game itself or it's my computer, but that's perfect, <laughs> spot on. And it, that's not why I've been playing badly, but it's just a bit off-putting when it sometimes does that. Nice start, though. Lovely uh, approach. And I mentioned on my last video, you know, I'm not the best player, but I have got some tips that I've worked out myself and I've seen other um, people recommend, you know, through Reddit and YouTube, um, you know, and I might share bits and pieces of those as I'm playing. Um, certainly not saying I've come up with all of the, the advice, that, you know, there's a lot of it going around. Um, one thing I would always say is check your lie. It's very important, um, and just have a look at the the, the beads that are running um, to see if you need to aim left or right. So if the ball is beneath your feet, so if it's sloping to the right, you're going to need to aim a little bit left and vice versa, just because the ball will shoot off immediately. So if I just aim this here, it'll probably shoot off more towards around about that way, uh, not massively, but. Um, Okay, so it's 154 yards. It's almost bang on. Um, ball's going to go right, but then it's going to go left anyway. But to be honest, with the way the green is, it's sloping left to right. I probably want to make sure it's more towards the left side. Um, put a bit of loft on, a little bit of spin. Maybe aim a little bit shorter, just to let it roll a bit. Um, yeah, and also, you know, check the green. Don't just 
don't just aim for where you think, all right, I'm going to aim dead at the hole, you know, have a look at how the green runs, where's a good spot to land. So I would say here's probably a good spot, so it rolls down towards the hole. Here would even be good on this side because it would be an uphill putt, but... Um, and that's, of course, if you hit the shot perfectly as well. So, see, that was a little bit juddery as well. But this looks pretty much spot on. Oh. Wow. Okay. I mean, you don't really need a putt well if you're um, <laughs> landing within about two foot of the hole every time. That's certainly not going to uh, keep happening, I'm sure. Uh, another par four. Yeah, that meter is a little bit jittery. Strange. Might restart my PC later, see what happens. But yeah, I'm playing on, on Steam on the PC. Um, I have got a PS5 and I did have 2K21 on the uh, the PS5. And I, I enjoyed it, but I didn't play a massive amount. Um, and I just fancy getting it on the, the PC. I've been playing a lot of a lot of games on here rather than console. Um, not quite sure why, just felt like a bit of a change. So we've got about 100, and, well, got 193, say it's 194 with the elevation, winds in the face, so it's about 196, 197. 197 should be spot on. Ball is above our feet, so we need to aim right, and the wind's right as well. Um, the ball slopes. Here wouldn't be a bad place to aim. Never hits a slope, it might feed into the to the hole. Um, probably going to aim. I need about one ninety seven, but you know you've got the run as well, so it's a five end, so it's got a bit of run. So I'm going to add a little bit of backspin just to kind of halt it a bit. pretty much bang on just where I've got the judgment right looks good yeah that's not bad not bad downhill putt though so the putts generally for every inch you either aim a foot extra or a foot less so three inches downhill you aim three foot less um, it doesn't always work exactly like that, but that's sort of general rumor, rule of thumb. Um, downhill putts tend to break a little bit more sharply or more. Uh, so, just trying to get a feel for how I think it's going to go. Um, I think about there. No, it's not turning enough. Nope. I'm going to add a bit of power just to take some of the break out of this. Don't want to add too much because you don't want to overshoot it, but I'll do. But yeah, um, yesterday when I actually recorded, was it yesterday or the day before? I can't remember. Um, when I recorded my first uh, round, played pretty well, put it fairly decently. Um, and the other rounds that I didn't record, I also was putting decently today. I've just been putting terribly. Those sort of anywhere sort of between eight, nine foot and twenty foot, which a lot of the time I make, um, I'm just not judging it right. Not massively out, but so this is one eighty eight, it's playing about one eighty seven, um with the slight uh, de elevation. Um Means right or left. So aim about here and let's have a think. What does it roll like? Um, no, I think I'm just gonna again add a bit of D loft, aim a bit short. I think about here. I think a few yards short. Bit of loft, bit of spin, and that looks pretty decent. Yep. 
I'm just going to have to be on it with the approach shots, really, on I? Um, if I'm not putting well. And so far, that's working out well. He says, try not to jinx it. But 334, just that one missed putt, the, the only sort of difficult putt I've had so far, I've uh, missed it. So this one, I'm not going to take the risk of going too far. Do I club down or... Yeah, I'm just going to club down, to be honest. Take the three wood. But like I say, I haven't haven't actually um, changed any of the fittings yet. It does cost money. I, I, I actually didn't originally because I thought that you had to pay to fit them and then you had to pay every round to use them as well. I don't think that's the case. I think it's just you pay for the initial fitting. Um, but obviously the higher the tier, so the better the fitting, the more expensive they are to add and I've got a few of the top ones I just haven't bothered adding them yet I'm just playing the very base haven't changed the golf balls or anything like that I'm never going to change the golf balls but I will add, a, add the fittings at some stage so the ball's slightly above my feet so I will aim slightly right not too much um, it's up about 4 yards so that's going to play about 145. I'm just going to play like that. That looks, this looks, I think this will be about spot on. Um, yes, nice. It'd be nice to get, um, whoop, <laughs> nearly missed that. Not bad scorecards so far, and we've got the first par five coming up as well. Um, it's a really nice course. Haven't played this one before. I definitely haven't. Um, okay, so dog leg right. So the first bit of shape that I'm going to do, I'm gonna shape this around the tree and try and get it to run a little bit. And that's absolutely twelve and six. That's absolutely spot on. A little bit of judder in there again. So. I don't know if I should lower my um, graphics a little bit, maybe. But it was waiting fine the past couple of days, so... Oof. The lie's okay. Could be better, but... I might actually... I mean, I'm going to add full loft on. Now, the more loft or de-loft or uh, fade or draw, spin, anything... Anything you add on it increases the difficulty of actually timing it and the power, etc. So, got to bear that in mind. Um, it's going to go slightly left. So, I'm going to aim about here. It doesn't I'm not so bothered if it's on the left side, but... Um, and I'm going to... The wind is helping a little bit. I don't aim too far right because the wind is only a tiny bit but and I'm going to aim maybe about 238 even though I'm adding lots of loft it will run a little bit obviously more than an iron for example um, yeah I could have added well, I couldn't really aim much shorter. Um, so, this is a not a great putt. So, a two putt would be would be great here. Um, so it's yeah. I'm gonna leave the power probably as is, and maybe a tiny bit shorter actually. So let's just get a feel for this. So. I don't have a specific method, it's more feel, using the grid lines for reference. Um, some days you're just on it, and some days you're not. I mean, this looks pretty decent. Oh. I mean, that was perfectly judged. The way the line, it, it was, well, say perfectly, it wasn't because it didn't go in, but almost perfectly. But, you know, you'll take a two put then, a birdie. Um, okay, going to aim a little bit short because it's downhill. I don't want to run too far. Uh, 
But I'm really enjoying the game this year. <laughs> well, I say that, I'm enjoying the game when it works, as expected. I've had a number of glitches. Um, the same glitch all the time, really, which is just now, just sometimes, mostly when you when the ball goes in the hole, whether it's a hole out, a putt, now and again it'll just completely freeze. So it'll go on the loading screen as if it's going to either show a replay or um, uh, sort of a transition, you know, showing the player um, or just the scorecard or whatever, and it just freezes. And it, I, I, you know, I've tried leaving it for like five, ten minutes, and it just you just have to force the game to close. Sometimes when you load the game back up and continue the round, it's counted the shot, so it's it's fine. Um, but I think that's only happened once or twice. The majority of the time, um, you're either back where you started, but it's counted that you've taken the shot, but you're still in the same place. So in essence, it's added an extra shot onto you because you've still got to take the shot again. Or... Um, the ball will be literally like an inch from the hole and it counted the shot. So it actually had gone in, but now it's saying it landed like an inch from the hole. So again, when you tap it in, it's basically added an extra shot. And on my first recording yesterday, unfortunately, it glitched out when I hit the hole in one. <laughs> Worst timing, but, you know, thank God, load it back in. And it was on the next hole. And when I checked the scorecard, it had that uh, hit a hole in one. So that was great. And I had it randomly. I was recording my first recording um, on my laptop. Um, I did record quite a few videos on my PS4 and PS5. Um, if you look at my channel, you'll see all the videos. Really not some, some not very good videos, but I enjoy doing it. But this, this is my first sort of time recording on my laptop, or yesterday was. Um, so I'm just getting into the swing of it. It's a little bit more complicated than the PS5, but there we go. I'm waffling, so um, I could just aim dead on, but I'm going to aim slightly right, just because of the way it's sloping. It's we'll add three yards, so it's playing about 85. So if I add quite a bit of loft and a bit of spin. Don't want to jinx it, but could this be hole in one territory? Wow, it's gone. Why is that gone? Um, that's because it wasn't. I've talked that much. I realised, didn't realise that that wasn't off the tee. <laughs> oh, good. It was the lie. Yeah, the lie was. Um, the ball was would have been above my feet, so it's kicked off right a bit. Uh, left a bit. Yeah, some of these shorter puts, it is a bit of risk, but add a little bit extra power on, take some of the break out of it, um, and just aim sort of more towards the edge of the hole. Now, if you miss and you've powered it, then it's going to go, you know, 10 foot past or worse, but um, yeah. So this is right or left. This will take it right a bit, so I might just leave it as is. If it goes a bit right, then it's going to trail in. Um, it's playing about 198. Um, 196 with the wind, but obviously you've got the roll as well, so I think I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to aim dead on, and if it goes a bit, mm, yeah, I mean, I'm procrastinating over uh, you know, a couple of inches either way, but it can make the difference, and this looks good. This could be good. Ooh. It was good. Um, bit of extra spin would have been better. And this is not an easy putt. And this isn't one you really can force in because it's downhill. Um, <sighs> nice. Oof, that, was, that was quite a tricky putt for just a 7 footer. But it's a nice looking scorecard. I mean, of course, the wind's not very strong, so it makes it a bit easier to judge. Obviously, you know, some courses you've got 
10 to 15 sort of mile an hour winds or worse but um, I think the, well, the worst I've seen in here is about 5 or 6 miles an hour um, so right first of all check the lie pretty much flat it's 189 no elevation um, wind in my face which is probably actually good it's probably want to aim sort of left side and maybe I'm going to say about there actually no a bit more because the wind yeah so that probably should land about here okay nearly mistimed it Exactly where I predicted. Yeah, maybe just could have been a bit bolder, but um, pretty good. It's inside 10 feet. Um, nice. Those are the ones I'm, I've been setting get guessing myself on. I think that's the problem. I've been looking at a couple of putting tips, and I've been putting well, and I've been watching some putting tips from other YouTubers, and I kind of <laughs> maybe overthinking it now. Um, okay, this is going to roll down towards there. Hopefully, it doesn't go too far. We don't get a bad bounce or anything. No, that looks like it's going to be fine. Yeah, it's spot on. Um, yeah. Um, it's gonna play seventy-two. Uh, the ball's beneath my feet, so we'll go right, and I want to sort of get in this side anyway. Now, do I? sort of a bit more loft uh, yeah, let's go for that try and sort of stop it relatively quickly well I didn't want it to do that quickly yeah it was too much loft okay but again 10 foot per Just trying to eye it up. Oh, close. Very close. And again, just sort of power it in. But eight under through ten, pretty good. Now, with the fittings, they change the stats on your club, but you can actually change the look of the club. So there's lots of clubs you can unlock, different drivers and iron sets and wedges and putters, etc. that change the aesthetic to it. And then you can also um, edit that as well, like the colour, etc. But you can use uh, whatever fittings, and it doesn't actually affect the look of it. It just affects the stats, which I quite like. So you can have the best of both. Um, so I think I'm gonna aim about yeah. Um this is playing about one seventy one. Um one seventy two the wind. I'm gonna be a bit more bold and again it judders a bit there doesn't it I want this to run a bit though um, yeah not bad again it's about 10 foot 
even I'm leaving myself a lot of ten footers. Um, this is going to break quite sharply at the start. So like the look of that. Yep, there we go. That's more like it. Nine under, pretty good going through eleven. Um, I think we're pretty safe now in terms of the tournament. Um, I'm only playing one round for the normal tournaments, and then I think like two for the the majors and the big events. Um, whoa, Judder! So this is just a one round tournament Oof. I could try and go for this be good 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 oh, oh. Literally, like a couple of yards further right, it would have been fine. Um, I think I'm gonna go for flop. It's gonna go left, which isn't bad actually. Anyway, I'm gonna do full loft. Bit of spin. Now it's gonna play about seventy-five to eighty percent. So. But it doesn't stop as quick either, so I'm probably going to want to aim. Yeah, almost like I'm not in the rough. So. Nah, that was poor. Almost hit it too well. If I'd have duffed it slightly, it probably would have carried a bit. Uh, well, the spin wouldn't have reacted as much. So I've got a tricky one for Birdie here. It's going to move quite sharply and then level out. So I think about the grid line. Nice. So it wasn't a good shot out the bunker at the rough, but a really, really nice put to get the birdie. I've turned off, by the way, the glitches. A few people recommended just turning off like replays and. Um, the I forgot what it's called, but it's like the transitions between holes and stuff where you see a player walk along. So I've just turned everything off. Obviously, you can do manual replays if you want to, if you if you do a good shot. So want to aim probably right side, just where this is sloping. Um, if I do like a full loft spin. Maybe about. Oh, it's taking a bit of risk, but hopefully the wind doesn't pick up running because the wind can change. You know, as you're eyeing up your shot, it can it keeps changing, so you've got to be careful of that as well. Now, if this just trickles towards a hole, yeah, not bad. I mean, it's landed almost exactly in line with the hole, just a bit too long. And again, another. Tricky slope and put here. Uh, again, I think just right of grid line. Nope, it was grid line. I just forced that one again, take the break out of it. I should have got that put though. Never mind. Um, wind's slightly to the left, so just obviously want to avoid this water. So I'm just going to aim towards the rough almost. So it pulls back in a little bit. Yeah, it's starting to turn and judder. Oh, I've left myself on this slope though. Oh, that's nasty. Yeah, so. 
I'm going to want to aim. It's going towards the hole anyway, so I'm going to aim right side. It's playing about 122. Um, 122. Yeah, I'll play about there, about 120 ish. Wave a little bit of lock and spin. Might not run out as much as I, I want it to, but. Um, Actually, that looks pretty decent. Yeah, aimed a bit too far right, but it's been a little bit conservative. So downhill, I am going to want to drop this uh, down. Don't want to run in miles past. Of course, I'll break more because I'm hitting it softer. Um, and I think slightly outside of the the air. Uh, no, just straightened up at the last second there. But again, I've left myself a tap in, and you know, sometimes you just want to make sure you avoid those three puts. You're not going to get every sort of 10 to 20 put, uh, tw 10 to 20 footer, but if you can get them with a couple of foot, um, you know, it'll save you quite a few shots, I think. You know, those nasty six or seven footers. Um, with a break, don't want those to save par. So this one's going to kick left massively. So aim about here, at least for now. Although that's sloping in to the right, so so that's playing about one fifty-two. Mm, sort of in between clubs here. I'm going to play about one forty-nine with some loft. And I am going to aim a bit further left. Because if it goes a little bit further left than I want, it will should hit the slope anyway. But this is looking pretty much spot on. There we go. Nice. Not an absolute gimme, but uh, yeah, again, just power up a little bit. interesting to see because I know they've got a EA have got a, a new golf game coming out next year and I don't know any details about it I've heard about it but be interesting to see what that's like because you know I was a massive fan of the Tiger Woods games back in the day I'm sure most people were absolutely amazing and um, some better than others you know obviously they kept rolling them out every year but um absolutely loved them now they're very arcadey and I wouldn't say this game's really a simulation anymore I think it's a mix between sort of simulation and arcadey. I think the golf club, the first game that came out was trying to be a bit more simulation, but I, I do I do really enjoy this game. Um so this is playing about ninety five, ninety six with the wind slightly in my face, probably about probably aiming about ninety nines with a bit of loft is not a bad idea. Now it's going to go massively right again, and the wind's going right. And it's a slope into the right, so. I've been in about 96 actually. Now hopefully, I haven't aimed too far left. No, that looks fine. If it hits the slope. Okay, so a bit aggressive with the power, but it's fine. I haven't left myself the nicest of puts. Um, nice. Yeah, originally I thought that was going to break a lot more, and then I'm looking at it, and actually the first few feet it was pretty much straight, so it wasn't anywhere near as much break as uh, what I thought. But two holes left. Got a par three now. This looks nice. Um, so elevation is uh, down thirteen foot. So can't remember if I already said this, but for every three foot up or down, 
you adjust the yardage by one. So basically just um, a third this. So a third of 13 um, is roughly four. Um, because it's downhill, basically you want to take uh, four yards four yards off because it's it's going to go four yards further so this is playing more like 206 the wind's helping so about 205 maybe um i'll probably leave it dead at the flag stick because it's going slightly right but it curves you can see the slopes into the left so even if it lands around about here it should go back in towards the hole uh what did i say it's about 205 Ooh, it's, again it's in between clubs Maybe if I add a little bit of roll. Um, yeah. Yeah, with the roll, actually, that might be... This could be decent. This could be decent. Oh. Imagine if that was another hole in one. <laughs> if that... If I got another hole in one there, I think I'll just record everywhere and I play from now on in. Um, nice. Yeah, but judged it again perfectly. The roll, it was a good choice there. So even though it didn't go in, that felt like a good, you know, really nice shot. I think the, the biggest thing biggest thing I have to learn is about the the lie so you know when it's like I say when you've got it aim left to right because if it if it's below or above your feet that's the bit sometimes I struggle with a little bit exactly where to aim and then the wind as well if, if the wind's fairly higher I struggle sort of where to aim not struggle but probably a lot to learn so this is playing about uh, 232 say about 230 roughly this is going 228 but obviously it's got a lot of uh, roll compared to wood so probably going to want to risk it a little bit I'm going to aim slightly further left because it's a little bit safer but also it's sloping to the right as well so I think I'm going to aim about been fairly uh, risk taken almost. <sighs> okay, I thought that was in the water for a second, so um, that didn't quite carry as much as I thought it was going to. So I'll take that it's dry and it's on the green. <laughs> um, down three, so it's playing about 14, but we'll say about 13. Um, your downhill puts tend to, even though you say a foot for an inch, it it still, the momentum makes it carry further. The longer the put, the more that is. This is a fairly flat put, to be honest, but that should be close. <sighs> yeah, didn't quite. I was in two minds there where to add a little bit further. Um, break, but I didn't. Um, but there we go. That's the round. That was a pretty good round. If I don't mind saying so myself, um, we'll have a quick look at the scorecard. I mean, bogey free. Um, yeah, got a tournament uh, trophy. Not really interested in that, to be honest. As long as the game doesn't freeze. There we go, 14 under, so 7 clear. Um, these go up to level 9 and you unlock things with sponsors. Um, you've got rivals and if you beat them you get um, sort of prizes and things and experience. Right, here you go, so let's have a look at, I'm going to favourite this course actually. And I am going to wait because I really enjoyed that. Um, scorecard. There we go. Oops. Scorecard. There we go. So, 
And when you think I missed quite a few putts as well, I mean, on every hole, I, I, I think bar one where I was putting a nice, I had a nice putt for a save par, which I made. I think on every other one, I've had a chance at a birdie. So, could have made at least three more. Um, but that's a good score, uh, 57. Fair enough, it was on a, a relatively easy course, I think. It seemed like quite an easy course for me. Um, you know, the wind wasn't strong. There wasn't any massive, you know, really long par four or fives. Um, but anyway, um, thanks for watching. I'm going to keep an eye out for any interesting courses. So if anyone wants to leave any comments for any sort of created courses that they've seen um, that they would like me to try, um, I'm happy to do so. Um, and also I might upload some more career mode videos as well. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for joining and I'll speak to you all soon.